Hey everyone, it's Mally, I'm back, and I know it's been a couple weeks since I did my last video, but um, it's been a flurry of a couple weeks. I'm, I had my spring break, which I should have been filming, but I didn't, um, and now I'm going into my last quarter as a senior in university slash college, whatever you want to call it, depending where you're from. So yeah, that's just kind of what's been going on in my life and why I haven't been filming. Also, I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've been thinking about doing a mini series on wearing um, Lolita fashion to school um, and kind of how to tone Lolita down or things like that. I don't know, or my experience. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if like one blaggy five minute video about my experience or if you guys would kind of like like a mini series of like coordinate ideas or something like that. I don't know. I thought that was kind of a cute idea, but I'm not sure. So um, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, so we'll just get right into today's video. Um, I, ordered, I ordered some stuff from Tenchi Shop and she shipped it last Friday and I've been stalking the tracking since then and today's Tuesday so it's been relatively quickly a uh, relatively quick shipping I got the box today and it's right here and I'm super super excited um, again she reused an Amazon box which I really appreciate the um, reusing of shipping materials so I'm just going to open the box I have my scissors right here so um, she packaged my um, she packaged it really well this time. The last the last time I packaged had a hole in it, which was kind of unfortunate. But um, she used a box this time instead of like an envelope, so that worked really well. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm super excited. I don't know if you guys can tell what is in here, but um, I got an angelic pretty bag, and I got like a paper bag this time, which is kind of interesting. And so we'll just. Go ahead and pull the stuff out. Um, I know that there's been a few like really popular releases recently. The Marine releases, Marine, Marine Kingdom, and the other shell one that I really liked. Um, while I love them both, I decided to pass. I really hope I don't regret on passing the one, especially the one, the chiffon one, the shells. I really hope I don't regret on passing on them. But I had my my eyes set on these already so um i've also been trying to transition my wardrobe into more like subtle prints and more subtle dresses they're more wearable to school and um don't make me st i guess stand out as much although i feel like in lowly they're gonna stand out regardless but yeah things that are quote unquote more wearable so not like a poodle print or like marine kingdom with all the mermaids well i think it was gorgeous i love the one in sacks and i really wanted it but um, I just didn't feel like I would wear it as much as something a little bit more subtle. So I decided to go ahead with those. The shell one I was this close to buying um, and I decided to just pass it up for now. There are other things that I want to purchase in the future. So the first thing that I pulled out from the box, I am so excited. So this is actually my first Victorian Maiden purchase and it looks like they removed the tag. So. I'm not sure if Tenchi shopped it up, but I don't think she did, so I think the store must have removed it. Um, I believe this is the Adele, this is the Adele Bustier jumper skirt in um, this red color. And it's just this gorgeous red color, and obviously as you can see, it's kind of like a low neckline right here. And so you can show you guys. So this low neckline, the print kind of at first, the fabric kind of at first reminded me of like, a carpet or like a curtain but um, I just really like the cut of this dress and it's a solid color so um, it would be or it's a solid ish there's a faint print on it but it's you know more wearable I'm hoping um, it is kind of a bold color I suppose since it's in red but um, the other color I really liked which was like a muted green had already sold out so I went for the red instead um, this is what the back looks like got um, no shirring but it's got this kind of a cross um, pattern like with the string so I'm, I'm guessing you could kind of um, tighten it a little bit I'm not, I don't think you could loosen it a whole lot more than this but yeah it is lined and it's pretty it's gorgeous I'm excited to try this one on this is my first Victorian maiden purchase and also my first um, purely classic purchase. I don't have anything like this at all. All my dresses are my dresses are mostly like 
Angelic Pretty and Baby and all this under pirates and they're mostly prints. Um, so nothing like this. So I'm pretty excited. Other purchase was um is oh um and Tension Shop as usual include a little note which is really cute. But um so the other dress I got was um if you can't tell it's Sherbet Marine. So when Fairy Marine came out and then they re-released it, I missed out both times and I kept seeing people wearing this dress and I absolutely fell in love with it um, but I missed out so when this was released and it wasn't announced beforehand I just saw it and I just jumped right on out so I know I need this dress and at first I couldn't decide whether I wanted this in blue or lavender since um, I felt like the pictures and the cores of the girls who were wearing in lavender were just so cute and pink too um, but I finally settled on the navy just because I felt like it was a little bit more wearable. And um, this time they had a JSK and a skirt too, which I thought were adorable. The skirt was so cute, I almost bought that one too. Um, the JSK I liked, I didn't love. So I went for the OP. Um, and it is so cute. There's a fabric swatch included. And it is a sailor collar. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to try this dress on, you guys. Um, and I love the way that the bow is this time. So the bow last time just kind of looked a little floppy in the, in the fairy marine. So this time it actually looks like a very proper bow. Um, I'm going to try and show you guys some of the details here. So the sleeves are um, kind of like a puff sleeve. And there's a little bow. And a little, the buttons are stars. I'm going to try and show you guys these up close. And um, the lace at the bottom is your regular, um, regular AP like ribbon lace. So yeah, there's no shirring to this OP. Um, just the bow at the back. Um, this OP also does have the little stars that like Fairy Marine had too. So yeah, I'm really glad that they re-released Fairy Marine. This, this one isn't exactly like Fairy Marine, but it's very, very similar. There are details on Fairy Marine that I like better, and there are details on this that I like better too. For example, I really like the bow on this better, um, and I like the tears on these better, but I like the kind of bottom detail on Fairy Marine better, but that's okay. Can't wait to try this on too, and um, I did also get the beret that goes with this dress. So, yeah, that's it for my little mini Tenchi shop, Lolita mini haul, I suppose. I will be putting these on and showing you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing what these dresses look like on, please stay tuned. Hey guys, so I put on the Victorian Maiden Adele Bastier jumper skirt in red and I absolutely adore it. It's definitely different from what I'm no I normally wear in terms of Lolita fashion or really any fashion, um, but I think it's so, so cute. It's definitely a classic dress. Um, and I can totally see wearing this to school. Maybe one day if I get a job that I, I can have a little more freedom to wear what I want, maybe I can wear this to um, work one day too. It's a very, very toned down kind of a, like a, a dress, but I love it. The details on it are just stunning. Um, this um, kind of cut of a neckline I absolutely adore. It's got this kind of a I don't want to call it a lace necessarily, but I'm going to try and show you guys here. But there's this kind of border on the dress and it's also at the bottom of the skirt that is just absolutely stunning. The fabric is not a thin cotton, it's definitely a thicker material, I'm not really sure, maybe a jacquard. Um, and it's printed, but the print is very, it's not bright or bold, it's a very faint print, you can definitely tell that it's there. But it's, you know, it's faint. Um, it is, the dress is lined. As you guys can see, um, there's button details with some like kind of other details up here. Um, I am wearing a lion petticoat with this dress right now. Um, I will probably try it on with a bell shape too, but this is probably going to be an A-line kind of a dress. Um, as for the coordinate with it, um, I think I'm going to definitely have to get more red accessories and shoes. I was kind of hesitating on buying anything yet because, um, I wanted to be able to see the color red that this is before I purchase anything. So now that I know the color that it is, I can definitely go out and buy things. Um, but yeah, the back of it's really cute too. 
the lacing's definitely a good fit for me. Um, it fits very well. I love the way it looks. And yeah, if you guys are interested in looking and finding this dress, last I checked, the Victorian Maiden web store still had it in stock. Um, you might need a shopping service, I'm not sure. I use Tenshi Shop, obviously. Um, but um, yeah, so this is the Victorian Ma Maiden Adele jumper skirt in red. And um, I'm gonna go put on the other OP for you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this dress. I definitely think it's stunning. Hey guys, so don't mind the tag, I haven't removed it, but this is Angelic Pretty's Sherbet Marine OP um, in navy, and I absolutely adore it. Even without a petticoat, this has a relative amount of poof. I think it's mostly because of the fabric, it's kind of like this organza material. It's layered, and um, yeah, it's really, really cute. I love the bow in the front, it's just so, so, so cute. Um, the beret, um, since I cut my hair, as you guys can see, is a little harder to accessorize with. It's kind of hard to put my hair up in a, like a high ponytail. I can't really do it with this bow. So for now, I just kind of did a half pony with the bow in the back. I think I will have to find a head bow to attach it to and kind of fiddle with it. Maybe attach it to a beret or something. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. This dress is absolutely adorable. I love the poof. I love how kind of muted, but not it is. It's a solid color, so it's not super, super out there. But at the same time, it's just really, really cute. It's also just really comfy. I think that might have to do with the fact that it's a little pee. Um, and the sleeves are just adorable. There is no shirring, though. Um, I believe the JSK of this dress might have shirring. I'm not sure. Um, there is a pocket, which is pretty standard for AP, um, and this pocket is real interesting because because of the um, organza fabric layer, they actually had to like make a hole in the fabric, which I thought was kind of interesting. But yeah, there's a pocket, and it's a pretty decent sized pocket. There is a zipper on this side, too. Um, yeah, overall, I'm very, very pleased with my purchases. I absolutely adore the dresses. I think they're so cute. I can't wait to wear them for spring and summer. I think they're uh, more muted, toned down, toned down versions of Lolita, which I'm very excited to wear. Um, I think I'm kind of moving slightly away from all of the prints. Um, don't get me wrong, I still love my prints, especially the chocolate prints. But um, I think they're a little too loud for me personally to wear day to day. So while I still love and adore those dresses, and I still wear them out day to day, even, I just sometimes I just don't feel like wearing them. So I feel like these dresses are just great alternatives, and I'm very excited. So here, I'll just do one more tour. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!